Where am I going? What am I doing? Why am I here? There are so many kids. They feel trapped. What can get me to not feel inside right now? I feel overwhelmed, stuck, afraid. Just feel out of place. They feel like a burden. Someone, something, help me, please. Trying to hide instead of shine. How do I ease my mind, find out who I am, what I want, and where to go? There isn't like a path way for them to feel that soul connection or that spirit connection. But something in their soul naturally is longing for something great, for some aha, for awe, so that they access a sense of their bigger selves. Surfing the Creative is a movement-based rites of passage process that brings together diverse young people from all over the world that supports them in making peace with their pasts so that they can move forward into their adulthood. People coming from all over the planet uniting in the, the universal language of movement and dance and art, being in nature and community. I never thought I would meet anybody from Israel, from South Africa. People who are so invested and so passionate about creating change in their community. Each day is an opportunity for us to discover something more about ourselves as human beings, something more about ourselves as change agents, something more about ourselves as leaders in community. If we look across culture and throughout all time, dance has always been used as a doorway to the sublime, to the sacred. It's a complete mystery. You never know what you're going to find out about yourself through movement. The ways that it has open channels inside of myself, to my body, to my mind, to my emotions. It was unfamiliar in a lot of ways to really open myself up. We're actually giving them just enough structure so they feel safe, so that they don't get um, lost in self-consciousness, but enough freedom that they can begin to find their own natural ways of moving. So what we're actually doing is we take them through a precise developmental process that gives them the building blocks for healthy adulthood. It was weird at first. It felt good to just be like, oh, they look stupid. They look crazy. Then like, I realized when you jump into it, everybody's doing the same thing so nobody can judge you. It's a big deal to make a decision, to hear the call and to step across the line and begin the journey. We do the dance inquiry, and then we will follow that with some way to integrate it. After they dance, then people write, they paint, they draw pictures from their interior. They share that with each other, they share their poems with each other, they share the fruits of their inner travels with each other. We would do motions that was just I'm not describing, it was, I, I felt good though. The young people are witnessed and they start to not only feel seen, but they also start to see, oh, my story is not that unique. Or, oh my goodness, that's what other people go through in the world. I had no idea. When I dance, it feels like emotion is building up, so it comes up, and then when I write, it's like, the motion comes to my fingertips. I am my father, an axe swinging lumberjack whose only goal is to cut down my family tree. I am confused. I am my brother. I disowned my father so Darius didn't have a choice. I am my grandfather, passing on before my son reached five. If I had been alive, Demetrius would have never turned out like this. Darius, I'm sorry. And we pray today that we find ever more peace through our courage, through our love, through our community and through our sacred way of healing, the dance. When you dance together, they all see each other grief, they all see each other cry, they all hold each other without too much talking, they all see each other's joy, they all see each other's fear and anger. There is beauty in the rawness, in the pain and in the suffering. And just being authentic in yourself brings so much more 
self-love. What the dance does is we are literally breathing together and we are finding the beat, the heart beat, the connection with our feet, with the rhythm, with the spirit together. And we are witnessing each other get lost and get found. The moment you begin to go through such an intense process with someone from a completely different cultural background, your world view has opened. What we're doing here is we are going to liberate the force of love even more so than imaginable. And that there are tears to be shed and truths to be told and anger to be expressed and fears to be befriended to allow that force to really flow fully. Something in my life that I've struggled with is I'm able to be present when it's joy and when it's happiness and when it's all those good feelings. But when the hard feelings have come up, my instinct is to shut down and close out the world. Through the dance, I can feel so alive and aware and present in my body. And you know, it's also scary when you can look inside and if you have the willingness to go there, there's a lot there, you know, it's not all beautiful and pretty. Because it's easier not to feel at all. Scared to feel because it means opening my heart, means being seen, being naked in the blood and the gore. Easier to be empty than to feel the pain. Who could love this ugly mess? If I can't, no one will. If I can't, no one will. If I can't, no one will. How do we meet those young people and give them a way to repair? to integrate. We work a lot with understanding some of the cutting edge principles about how to unwind trauma and help people find healthy pathways for movement forward. That's a huge part of a rite of passage, of an initiation. I'm letting go of that which doesn't serve so that I can cultivate this new expression of myself and move into the world, you know, as a woman, as with intention. So if we learn how to turn our pain into medicine. We become a gift for all those who have that same wound on this planet. And so we each become like these channels of healing, these pathways for healing. If I ever feel like there's a day when I may not survive, if I ever feel alone, I will close my eyes. And remember, gravity is challenging, but I will ride the skies. I will ride the skies because it is my destiny. I am Darius Antoine Simpson. I am everything men in my family were, but I am everything men in my family will never be. I am a king. We support them in figuring out how they're going to take what they've discovered through the Rites of Passage journey back into their day-to-day -day lives. How do I live in a way that's authentic, that respects my vulnerabilities, that helps me cultivate my gifts? My intention is to be a better person and a better man. To be healthy, more loving towards myself, and just growing. To bring light to the darkness inside of me, and hopefully out there. And I know that the world has many challenges for me, and I am strong, rooted, and grounded. And as you go out there, my friends, bring beauty. Bring love and bring integrity. Bring those things. The world is desperate for them. We can honor our global family in our everyday decisions. This camp is the groundwork for that. We have some different cultures, but like inside of us, like everything's the same. Inside. All these seeds that are planted all over the planet. Breaking down isolation and recreating that sense of, of togetherness. Remembering that there's people from different parts of the country or different parts of the world who are similar to me, who are there for me, and who understand me. Because my life is depending on you, and your life's depending on me. It's hand to hand, so we need each other. The unifying thread for them is that they are all called to help in these difficult times. I have a challenge 
for us to make things better. And uh, how can we make things better is to start uh, with yourself first. Remembering um, just how precious I am and how I have an important job to do here and, and we all do. We have to get it done. Like This is our job, especially after coming here. We have to change the world, period. Children, cause we love them.